Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bob Coughlin. I'm CEO of MassBio. Welcome to the Massachusetts Pavilion. I want to start off by thanking our dear friend, Yves Rua, the CEO of Coriolis, because he sponsored our coffee this morning. And I know I need it. You guys need coffee? Thank you, Yves. He's a Montreal Canadiens fan, ladies and gentlemen, but he's a terrific human being. We're really excited this morning. Uh, we're going to talk about digital health. And we have an exciting announcement to make. You heard a little bit about it yesterday. And today we're really excited to talk about the Baker Polito administration's digital health initiative. You know, in the last decade, we've done a great job working to make Massachusetts a better place for innovation, for research and development. We talked a lot about biomanufacturing. Well, guess what? If we're going to be the best place in the world for life sciences, we need to really own the digital health space. And we have a plan. And this morning, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to hear about that plan. We're extremely excited to hear more. And I'd like to start off by introducing Lawrence Stunts from Mihai to talk a little bit about what the plan is. So, Lawrence. You can clap. Come on, wake up. Thank you very much, Bob. Um, so I, I'm, as Bob mentioned, I'm Lawrence Stunts. I'm the director of the Massachusetts eHealth Institute at the Mass Tech Collaborative. Uh, MIHI is the state's organization uh, representing Governor Baker and the entire administration. Whoa, the volume just went up. Um, and uh, on the state's behalf with the Digital Health Initiative here. So we're really excited to announce um, this initiative. To, and uh, we're going to do a short video just describing that was produced by our partners over at Mass Challenge, uh, describing the opportunity in front of us. So I, I want to thank uh, Mass Challenge <laughs> for the music behind that video, which brought in a much larger crowd than from when it started. So thank you very much to uh, Mass Challenge and all. And as folks were looking through that video, you can just see the incredible 
uh, depth and breadth of resources that the state of Massachusetts has to bring to digital health care. Uh, there's more than 250 companies, digital health companies already in the Boston, you know, metro area and all of Massachusetts headquartered there. There's more than uh, 13 of the 100 largest uh, health IT companies are headquartered in Massachusetts. We've got unparalleled uh, life science cluster, we've got an unparalleled hospital and, uh, and health plan infrastructure in Boston. And so, you know, what this all led to and the reason why we're here today and talking to all of you is that uh, we're announcing a digital health initiative uh, that led by Governor Baker and his administration. Mihai is representing Governor Baker today and we've been spending a lot of time over the last year talking to folks about all right, where, where can we really make a difference and put our thumb on the scale and uh, really get this cluster to explode even further than it has. So there's a couple of key areas that we are focused on from the state side and then uh, some of our partners are going to talk about the private side and uh, some of the other government uh, activity. So from our perspective, you know, this it's really important to convene and promote the cluster. So bringing together folks from across the state, uh, the, we'll talk a little bit more about the, the details of uh, Pulse at Mass Challenge, but that space will really be a convening uh, place for folks to meet up to connect with each other, to connect for new companies, to connect with healthcare providers, for health plans, to expose their problems, their questions, their challenges to the entrepreneurial community and bring those all together. So that's the, the first key piece of our, uh, of our approach to this is uh, bringing together the entire cluster. Uh, we're going to be supporting startups, obviously. Lindsay's going to talk a little bit about that and about uh, the extension to Mass Challenges programming. Uh, really, uh, one of the key issues that we've also heard from uh, entrepreneurs is that they need to have a much quicker access to the market. They need to figure out whether their ideas are bad more quickly so they can get out of bad ideas and into uh, good ideas. They, and they need to, once they've hit on those good ideas, they need to get them into uh, customers' hands so that they can be tested and used. So we're putting together a digital health marketplace program to pull together uh, key issues from all healthcare provider and healthcare uh, sectors, so whether that be life sciences, whether that be home health, post acute care, hospitals, community hospitals, we really want to make this something that, uh, and an initiative that's accessible to the entire healthcare community. Bringing those problems to entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs bringing those, uh, having a capacity to pilot those products pilot and test those projects in uh, healthcare settings. So Massachusetts, we're pulling together stakeholders from across the community to uh, make it easy to start and grow companies. So that's the marketplace initiative. And then the third key is initiative that we're working on from the state's perspective is a healthcare data initiative to expose and open up healthcare data. We talked a little bit about this um, uh, as part of, well, MACP will uh, talk a little bit more about the tr tech transfer that they've worked on, but healthcare data will be at the core of any of our analytic changes, any of our capacity to, uh, to grow and to affect healthcare cost and quality. So the state is working to open up healthcare data sets. We're working to bring entrepreneurs and data challenges to those healthcare data sets so that we can address some of the state's most pressing issues, including issues of opioid abuse, uh, price and cost transparency, and other key issues. So um, those are at least highlights, and I'm going to turn this over right now to uh, Dan O'Connell, who's going to talk a little bit more about uh, the private sector's uh, effort in this public-private partnership. Thank you, Lawrence, and thank you to uh, Bob for hosting us today. I worked with Bob for about six months in the Patrick administration. We were all glad when he took the job at MassBio. Uh, we thought you it was a. Leave? <laughs> He's been a great, great partner and was a great person to work with as well. Uh, I'm here today as president and CEO of the Mass Competitive Partnership. Uh, it's a nonpartisan uh, group, uh, a nonprofit group 
made up of the CEOs of the largest employers in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The group represents about 140,000 employees in the state, over 700,000 employees worldwide. Uh, the group is focused very narrowly on two issues, creating jobs in Massachusetts and making Massachusetts more competitive in the world marketplace. Um, we take a systems approach to issues that we address. Uh, we do our due diligence. We want to make sure that we have, whatever we're involved in, we're going to be moving that uh, forward in terms of job creation and competitiveness. Uh, about two and a half years ago, we decided to look more deeply into the tech sector. We've had incredible success. MassBio has been a leader in it in the life sciences area in Massachusetts. And we were looking at what's the next big thing that we can be part of. Uh, Jeff Lydon, uh, CEO of Vertex, Vertex Pharmaceuticals, led our uh, committee on this issue. And we focused in on the digital health initiative. All the pieces are there in Massachusetts. We have the academic research centers, the community hospitals, the universities, the venture capital, the companies that are really pioneering this effort. Uh, and together, we felt like we could put together something uh, that would lead us, uh, Massachusetts, into a role where we could become the hub of this new area. Uh, so we uh, formed our committee, met had a lot of outreach with various players. And as Lawrence said earlier, we identified a couple of key areas where we thought we could have some impact. Um, one of those areas was uh, accelerator space. And we immediately turned to Mass Challenge. Uh, Mass Challenge, uh, Lindsay is here today. They are the partner, the premier player in this area, uh, in, in, originally in Massachusetts, but now all over the world. Uh, and they opened up last week a spectacular accelerator space uh, in the Fenway area of uh, Boston, right near Longwood Medical Area. We felt that mentorship was important to young entrepreneurs. So our CEOs, busy people, uh, took their time, uh, took time to visit various academic centers, University of Massachusetts, uh, Harvard, MIT, Northeastern, and Boston University, and did mentoring sessions with individuals who were looking to move forward with new ideas, try to help them with some of the early pitfalls. The licensing and tech transfer issues that Lawrence uh, referred to came up time and time again. And we have Abby Barrow here today from UMass, who's really headed, uh, lead, led the tech transfer effort in Massachusetts. And we find, found that different universities were using different, um, different kinds of agreements. We got them all together, along with Partners Healthcare, our largest health institution, and we standardized the agreements, both the tech transfer and licensing. They're now up on the state website. They're on our MACP website. And we think this will help people move more quickly with fewer lawyers involved uh, to move their ideas in the right direction. Uh, and then the other issue we found and heard from all the people we talked to was available of capital in the early stages. So our group, uh, working with um, Leerink Partners, uh, a, a venture firm, a banking firm, uh, put together the Massachusetts Innovation Catalyst Fund. Uh, and we have raised $25.8 million to invest in Massachusetts companies involved in digital health or in companies willing to move to Massachusetts uh, to become involved in our digital health cluster. Uh, that is underway, and we think it will be a key element of moving this effort forward. Um, so to sum it up, uh, we've got the partners. Uh, we think we've got the pieces of the puzzle. Uh, we're now going to do everything we can in Massachusetts, as we did in the life sciences area with our leadership in research. We're going to do everything we can in digital health to be the hub of not only the nation, uh, but the world. I'm going to turn it over now to John Barrows, who's Chief of Economic Development for the City of Boston. John is the best, best partner a private sector uh, group could, could be with, could partner with. He's been a leader with us on a number of initiatives, and he's been right there front and center in putting the digital health piece together. John.
Thank you very much. It is very exciting to be here and to be part of this ecosystem. The city of Boston is proud to host this accelerator. In fact, last year at BIO, Boston and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts recognized the emerging trend with the digital healthcare sector. And since then, we've responded with amazing speed. Because six months later, this past January, we announced our digital healthcare partnership with MACP, an amazing group of leaders in our private sector that have brought us together in a way that only folks who are serious about innovation can do. Because another six months later, we officially celebrated last week a ribbon cutting of the new innovation center, the new innovation space in the heart of Boston's medical epicenter. Rapid speed, being able to partner, working with multi-stakeholder groups in, in this kind of initiative is what made uh, Earlier this year, Bloomberg ranked Massachusetts number one in innovation. Last month, 1776 Fund and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce said Boston is the number one city for fostering entrepreneurial growth and innovation. They pointed especially to the support of a quality network, a quality ecosystem. Boston may be competitive in sports and may be first in innovation, but what makes us special is the ability to partner and respond. The launch of the Digital Health Inc. Uh, Accelerator has been a partnership between the city, the state, established businesses, hospitals, and universities, and our startup community leader, Mass Challenge, which is why I'm really excited to present to you Lindsay Simeone, who is the Director of Partnerships from Mass Challenge, the largest accelerator incubator in the world. Lindsay. Good morning, everybody. I'm Lindsay Simeone, the Director of Special Projects at Mass Challenge. As he said, we're the most startup friendly accelerator in the planet. We have locations in London, Jerusalem, Lausanne, Mexico City, and Boston. And Mass Challenge's mission is to accelerate high impact, high potential startups across all industries while taking zero equity in those companies. Today, I'm excited to talk to you a bit more about our new digital innovation lab called Pulse at Mass Challenge. As you've heard, Massachusetts is home to some of the brightest minds and strongest supporters of health. And there's a real opportunity for us to help accelerate startups in this sector. As a global accelerator, who supports high-impact startups accelerate and launch and grow, we understand some of the challenges that are specific to the sector, and we want to be there to support and help them. Through Pulse and Mass Challenge, startups will have access to the dynamic health community in Massachusetts, world-class resources, and tailored programming for Mass Challenge, all while taking zero equity from these companies. It's in large thanks to the generous support of our founding partners, and fair warning, this list is long, but we couldn't have done it without the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the City of Boston, MACP, Suffolk Construction, Samuels & Associates, Mihai, Microsoft, EMC, Dell, Analog Devices, Pfizer, TechSpring, and Synovian Pharmaceuticals. A big group rallied behind us to make this a true success, and we're excited that Pulse and Mass Challenge will be that central hub for startups in the digital health space. In addition to Pulse and Mass Challenge, which offers over 8,000 square foot of collaborative working space in the epicenter, as we talked about, Longwood Medical Area, startups engaged in our program will also have access to TechSpring, which is a health innovation center operating out of Bay State Health in Springfield, Massachusetts. By collaborating with organizations across the state, we're not only excited to strengthen the health ecosystem in Boston, but to fuel new ideas and innovation across Massachusetts and be that central hub for digital health startups around the world. So thank you again for listening a bit more. To follow us, you saw it's masschallenge.org backslash pulse. Sign up for our newsletter, stay engaged. It's truly with full collaboration that we can create some success in this space. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Lindsay, and John, and Dan, and, and Bob. So as you can tell, this is a true partnership between uh, the state government, city uh, government, between private sector, between 
uh, entrepreneurial community, and all of us are coming together to, to launch this digital health initiative. We really think in, that this is a key driver and will be a key driver of Massachusetts economic growth, not just in Boston, but across the state. Uh, so we're really excited about this. Uh, Bob and I were just talking during the video about how exciting it is to get this off the ground, to really put some effort behind the digital health cluster. Uh, Mass Challenge is really a, t and Pulse and Mass Challenge is a tangible example of uh, that space that anybody can come and visit and, and host your uh, company at. Um, we're going to be obviously doing uh, programming in that space and we're really looking forward to this. So if you want to know more, you can go to massdigitalhealth.org slash sign up to connect with us and connect with the initiative. Also on that website are resources for companies as well as a directory of every uh, digital health company that we know about in the state, We're more than 250 of them. So uh, feel free to connect with us online or to come up and talk with us uh, at the Massachusetts Pavilion for the rest of the day. And thank you very much for, uh, for all of you uh, coming here today.